Hey, what's up, world? What's up, world? It's your boy, J. Shrimp. You know, you know, I was just watching uh, that little nigga, uh, Wally channel, you know, and um, same young dog fucking with God again. You would think, dog, you should have been learnt or found some new motherfuckers to play with by now, you know. It's obviously, you know. Man, you know, these boys tried to kill you, man. You know, a whole hundred shots. And obviously, you respect that gangster a little bit. You had a whole bulletproof motherfucking truck, nigga. So, hey, I give you credit for that one. See, the difference between them two niggas is Dolph, a motherfucking hustler, y'all. And a hustler go hustle, shine, stunt, and show all he got. He's still a real nigga, too. But Gotti, a gangster. Gangsters moving silent. If y'all notice, Dolph is the motherfucker doing all the talking. Gotti ain't said a motherfucking word. You couldn't find a motherfucking, uh, you couldn't find a Gotti motherfucking interview where he talking about that shit. I mean, free, but I'm saying he not speaking about it, you know. I mean, he go to the station and they try to pull what they can out of him, but I'm talking about, like, Dolph doing on his own. He ain't doing that, you know. And Dolph, you know, I like Dolph, but I, I, I kind of, Keep the realness in Gotti. I know who the real nigga is, you know. I ain't saying Dolph ain't no real nigga, but you should stop playing with them guys, man. If you don't want to rock with them, don't rock with them. But shut the fuck up. You know what I mean? Leave them niggas alone. You know, straight up. A whole hundred shots, man. You know they tried to erase your ass that night, nigga. They really tried to erase your ass and you laughing like you think that shit funny. Then them niggas who shot you in that label just playing with you. That that shit, that wasn't nothing. That you see, you already know that wasn't shit. You see the difference between the shooters. They ain't make no noise. They're like, pop, pop, pop. They put, put that bitch in your head if that's what they wanted to do. Obviously, that that wasn't no money. They just sent you and took advantage of it. And they knew they weren't really going to get away. So they made sure they didn't whack your ass because they'd have really been in fuck trouble. Man, I advise you, you go off, you know Cut it out, man. Find somebody else to play with. You know, you got it in them alone, man. Both of y'all making money, y'all successful black men. Y'all from the same town. Now, I understand, you know, that I just be sick of, because we can't get Chicago niggas to squash shit and uh, get along, but at least y'all, when y'all separate, y'all can just simmer down, you know. You know, you can move to another state and do what you do. Both of y'all got enough money to do that. You know. It's just my little two cents on it, man. I be looking through shit and I be like, this niggas, man, I mean, you got too much to lose to even be playing. You should be, I wouldn't even be playing like this, especially with no real motherfucker, dog. You know. Let me know what y'all think, man. What y'all think? Y'all think that nigga didn't just shut the fuck up or you did? Y'all check me out, boy, rap in the city, you dig? Chicago in the building, you dig? Just strip, I'm out of here, man. Just a little quick, so, you know.